Hi guys, it's Vanessa. I just recorded my haul video and there was no audio. Don't you love that? So let's redo it and let's do it fast. So I have um, some drugstore stuff, some craft store, and then Star Warrior. So I'll just get right into it. From the drugstore, I picked up a L'Oreal Voluminous Eyeliner in brown. It was like 75% off. Here is the swatch of it. And it's just like a liquid liner pen. It's different from their Carbon Intense. This one, I don't know if you can see it there. You can see it's like on a slanted point. Um, and you could do like a thick or thin line. There's the thin line. It's pretty. It just kind of looks more charcoal than brown, I will say. Next, I picked up the L'Oreal Hip um, Liner in brown. And this color I like a lot. And it's up there. And the reason I like this color a lot is it's kind of like a light brown at first, like a sienna color. And then if you go over it another time, it gets deeper. But it lasts fairly long for a, an eyeliner, and it's very pigmented. So that's what I like about that. Next, I picked up this L'Oreal Glam Shine Dazzling Plumping Lip Gloss in 700 Diva. And this is like a pinkish mauve color with a lot of sparkle, and it's right there. Sorry, the lighting's really wacky. It's that crazy shiny crap right there. And this stuff puts Dazzle Glass to shame. Like, it is the glitteriest lip gloss I've ever had, and it's purely glitter. Like, if you, once you rub the swatch away, my hand is, like, covered in glitter. But it's grittier than a Dazzle Glass, but if you like super, super, duper, de duper <laughs> shiny and glittery lips, this is for you. Then I picked up a L'Oreal Color Juice Stick in Chai Love You. And I picked it up just because of the name, because I love chai tea. But um, it's actually a really pretty color. This is what it looks like. And the color is like when you first put it on, um, really sheer, but then it builds up. And this is what it ends up looking like right there. Can I get like in the light? There we go. It's like really shiny. And it... Um, it's really shiny and it uh, is like a coffee, like a cafe au lait color with um, pink undertones. Very pretty. Then I picked up this um, Wet n Wild Straightening Nail Polish. And it's just white. Um, I figured I could mix it with pigments. So that is that. And then at Target um, yesterday, I got this Studio Tools Blending Brush, which I like a lot because it looks like here. We'll use my giant forehead. It looks like... Uh, a 226 that came out with MAC um, and it's really soft super soft blends colors really nice for a little more precise blending than something like a 227 would do and I just used it for my concealer and I like it a lot then at the craft store I picked up some stuff I picked up an acrylic box for my lipstick but it's over there and I don't want to get it <laughs> sorry and then I picked up this um, 8 well uh, palette just so I could mix colors and pigments and all that good stuff in there then I picked up this brush because I was watching uh, Michelle 1218's haul video where she picked up the MAC version of this at the CCO. And I had seen that before. They don't have it at my CCO anymore and I gave it up. It's just like a doe foot, um, doe, not doe foot, deer foot, a deer foot brush. Um, and the first time I saw it, I was like, that's a crease brush and too big for my crease. But then she was talking about all the ways you could use it. You could use it um, for brow color. You could use it for cheek highlight. You could use it to contour your nose which I don't do, but I was thinking like more concealer and hard to reach places um, and stuff like that. So it seemed multi-purpose, so I bought this one to check it out, but this one's a little stiff, so I might invest in the Sephora one. But still, if you want to try it, it's for like two bucks at the craft store from local now. Then I picked this up that I was really excited about. What's it on this side? This is the um, Maxine's Mop Half Inch. So, um, this one I already own. I didn't buy it. But this is the 3 8 of an inch one. And it's the one that's the dupe for um, the MAC uh, 239. Yeah. The MAC 239 dupe. And as you can see, it looks just like if I covered all this, you would think this was a MAC 239. It's white goat hair, rounded um, shader brush. It works super soft. Love this. One of my favorite brushes. So, I bought this because it's like the big giant version if you could tell the difference. Yeah. This is a big giant version of it. It's the half inch. And I love this brush. It's so soft. It's even softer than this one. And um, I don't like the 252. 
So I wanted another brush that I could use for like quick all over lid color and this I love. It's just like having a giant 239. The only thing I will say about this is it works really good for mattes. For some reason with shimmer frost ones it doesn't pick up the color as good. Um, so if you're really like matte colors and especially if you have a large eye area I would definitely check out this brush because I love it. Then Style Warriors. I only picked up three things because I was on a budget. The lip stuff to me, I have tons of lip stuff that looks like it. The bronzer to me, a bronzer is a bronzer is a bronzer is a bronzer. And I have a powder bronzer that I love from the drugstore. And I have um, my Bronze Universal. So I don't need more bronzer. The highlighting powder, um, that big loose one, not my cup of tea. Um, the Luster Drops, I wanted to get pink rebel but they were out of it and then I have a dupe for the bronzier ones so um I didn't pick that up and then the brush whatever smolder whatever um and I think that's it that was in the collection so what I did pick up was I got night maneuvers and first of all I love the packaging I'm a fan of the packaging um I will say like the powders that have the this silver and then they have like leopard underneath it I don't like that but these eyeshadows I think are super cute um this is yeah night maneuvers and it's like a really pretty like espresso brown with charcoal undertones and a little purple in there as well here's the swatch and then here it is here really pretty color good for defining a look like it instantly gives you drama very similar to smut if you have smut you probably don't need this I have smut but you know how the addicts are <laughs> and then this one I'm not going to open because it was supposed to be bright future but um my MA who I love um she ended up giving me soft force so I have to go return it and then I got impassioned solar bits since they didn't have the luster drops I was like, I'll get solar bits. And I have to say, this time around, I feel like they put more solar bits into the jar. Last time, my solar bits looked completely empty. This is the color. Right there. You're probably not going to be able to see it because my lighting's horrible. No. But there it is. It's like a really nice, um, I would call this a bronze, a plummy bronze color. right there again horrible lighting sorry it's like a plummy bronze color with a lot of frost it's very pretty very beautiful it's like when you use it it looks like you're like a pigment that's been foiled without having to you know wet it or anything although they're um i recommend using them wet because they're less messy that way and that's it that's all i got so yep um yeah I guess I'm done <laughs> for the second time. Uh, but that's all. Talk to you guys later. I'm going to go crank out a couple more vids and then get clean in this messy room. Alright guys, bye.